Where are we? I hear hissing. If there's snakes around, I'm leaving. Get me out of here. Erica, calm down. Snakes aren't that bad. To prove it, I brought you to the Lakeland Center for this year's Florida International Reptile Expo presented by Repticon. Reptile Expo? That actually seems pretty cool. It is really cool. On today's TSE News Show, reporter Derek Brooks is going to take us on a tour of this event. Callie has our school announcements, Lisa has our hot topic question, and we can see what our sports and FFA teams have been up to so far this year. Wow, we have a lot of work to do, but I want to learn more about this expo. Then let's head straight to Derek with today's top story. You know, after learning more about these animals, they don't seem so bad after all. I'm glad you got over your fear of snakes, but that alligator over there is looking at me like I'm alligator food. While we take a look around, why don't all of you head over to today's Shark Scoop to find out all the important events that are happening next week at LG. Looks like our sports teams are off to a great start. You know who else is off to a great start? Our FFA team. Let's head straight over to TST News reporter Sierra Cruz, who had a chance to talk with Miss Kennedy and the FFA officers about their plans for this upcoming year. What reptile are you most afraid of? Definitely snakes. What about you? Let me think. Alligators, bearded dragons, lizards. Wait, I just asked for one. Do you think the sharks are afraid of any reptiles? I don't know. I mean, our sharks are pretty brave. That doesn't mean they can't be scared every once in a while. That's true. Let's crawl over to TSC News reporter Lisa Leontis to find out what the sharks have to say in today's hot topic. I've had a lot of fun here at the Florida International Reptile Expo. Me too. If you missed all the fun, make plans to attend next year. The expo will be right here at the Lakeland Civic Center September 10th and 11th of 2016. I'm Erin. And I'm Erica. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching TSC News. Thank you, Mother. Hello, everyone. We're so happy to be here with you today. Speak for yourself, sis. Stop being so dreary. I can't help it. You inherited the sunny disposition, remember? I guess you're right, but you can at least be polite. Fine. Thank you. As I was saying, we're here to help all of you humans protect themselves from hazardous weather and sun exposure. Would you like to go first, Stormy? I thought you'd never ask. Today's LAQ is, how can I protect myself from hazardous weather and sun exposure? Let's start off with my favorite, thunderstorms. Which is pretty cool if I do say so myself. But your pretty cool lightning kills more people than tornadoes each year. That's why the best place to be during a thunderstorm is indoors. Those are all great tips, sis, but what should they do if they get stuck outside during a thunderstorm? First and foremost, never take shelter underneath a tree. Take shelter away from trees, fences, and poles. Tornadoes are my most violent storm. These funnel-shaped clouds can reach to 300 miles per hour. So what's the difference between a tornado warning and a tornado watch? Great question. A tornado watch means a tornado is in your area. A tornado warning means a tornado has been spotted or seen on a weather detection device. Luckily, forecasters keep an eye on your hurricanes and send out warnings and watches for them. That's right. A watches in hurricane conditions are expected in the next 36 hours. Your family should prepare to evacuate. The watch is upgraded to a warning when the hurricane conditions are expected in the next 24 hours. My sister's correct. Of course I am. Sorry. So what happens if I send my soft and fluffy clouds over your searing sun? They won't have to worry about getting burned, right? Actually, clouds don't block my sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation, so the rules should be applied on cloudy days. Wow, I've learned a lot today, even though I didn't want to learn. I learned a lot too. Thanks for watching the wonderful world of Mother Nature. I'm Sunny Day. And I'm Stormy Day. Stay, Stay safe, safe out there. there. Bye. What on earth is that? It's our boat for today's cardboard boat race. Don't you love it? Finish it at about 4 a.m. It was totally worth it. You expect me to get in that and paddle around the lake? Yep, that's the plan. I think you finally lost your mind. Maybe. While we discuss our strategy for today's Cardboard Boat Challenge, it's time for all of you to head over to the Top Story with Dominique. I can't believe you're refusing to get into this boat. It's perfection. Perfection? What is this? I think that's the rudder. Maybe the sail? You really should have taken Miss Eager's class this semester. Why is that? Because her Power Academy students made boats and they look really awesome. Tell me more. I can do better than that. TSC News reporter Tariah Demings is here with all the info in today's Classroom Spotlight. You're right, those boats look a lot better than this thing. Finally, you've come to your senses. But what are we gonna do now? I don't think we're gonna be able to boat today. There's plenty of other water sports we can try, like, no, wait, wait, that won't work. Hey, maybe the sharks have some ideas on what water sports we should try. Good idea, let's head straight over to today's Hot Topic question. 
I don't think any of those will work for us. Maybe we were just meant to watch and cheer on the other contestants in the cardboard boat challenge. Hey, we can do that. Ready? Okay. Row, row, row that boat, the water looks like soup. It's time for the announcements. Now here's today's shark scoop. Woo! I think everything worked out for the best today. Me too. Plus, I have a whole other year to get back on the drawing board and make an amazing boat for next year's challenge. That sounds like a plan. Don't miss TSC News next week. There will be shows on Heroes, our school's music department, and where to find Lakeland's most delicious pizza. I'm Erica. And I'm Erin. Thanks, Thanks for watching TSC News. This week is Spirit Week. Our main goal for this week is to dress up according to the theme that day. But my main goal is to outdress Erin. What is that supposed to mean? Just to prove that I have more school spirit than you do. I'm pretty sure I know someone who has more school spirit than you and I. Who could have more school spirit than me? Our school's cheer squad. Oh yeah, I heard they cheered at this week's basketball game. They did. We have more information on them and our basketball players in today's Shark Sports Update. It's Wacky Tacky Day, if you can't tell, and my costume is better than Aaron's. I'm pretty sure my costume is way better than yours. That can't be true. I worked eight hours to make this costume perfect. I worked ten. Huh. We're starting to sound like Dominique. Why do you say that? Because she's always talking about numbers. <laughs> That's funny, because she's talking about more numbers in today's Brain Strain. Aaron, if you think the camo is working, it's not. But the salesman said it would make me look invisible. That only works if you're outside. But I know somewhere you can blend in at. Where? You can blend in with all of our school athletes when you purchase a sports t-shirt. Where can I buy one of those? All the info is in today's Shark Scoop. A princess, really? You act like you haven't seen any mouses around campus. I guess you're right. It's just so hard to come up with an original costume idea. Especially when you only have a limited amount of items. Everyone thinks you can just pull things out of your closet. I put the sharks up to the challenge to make the best costume they can with limited items. That sounds like a great shark shenanigans segment. Too bad Sean and Courtney didn't think of it. It looks like it's a shark shenanigans takeover Aaron and Erica style. Today is the final day of Spirit Week. I've got spirit, yes I do. I've got spirit, how about you? And it's the final day where we get to show how much school spirit we have. I have so much school spirit that I memorized all of our cheerleaders chants, plus worn everything blue and gold. Also, I memorized all of our band, choir, and orchestra songs. You're telling me that you remembered all of the band, choir, and orchestra songs? I don't think that's possible. Really? Just watch this. No! We don't need you to play for us. I would like to keep my eardrums. You're just jealous because I have more school spirit than you. Oh really? I have so much school spirit. To prove it, I have memorized every student's schedule. That's a little extreme, don't you think? I guess, but you're the one who remembered all the songs. You're right. I think we let this whole spirit week thing get to our heads. Our school is an awesome place, and we need to celebrate it every week, not just Spirit Week. Truce. Truce. I'm Erin. And I'm Erica. Thanks, Thanks for watching TSC News. Welcome to TSC News. I'm Erica. And I'm Erin. As you can see, we're here enjoying some of the beautiful weather. Today's show is full of exciting information for everyone. That's right. TSC News reporter Derek has been following the Police Athletic League since the beginning of the school year to find out why it's so important for our city to have this incredible program. Plus, we have this week's Classroom Spotlight featuring Miss LaFountain and her culinary students. Then we have your messages to our local police officers in today's Hot Topic. Last August, a partnership between the City of Lakeland Parks and Recreation Department and the Lakeland Police allowed a vacant building to be renovated for our Police Athletic League. This new facility will serve more than 200 young people right here in our own community. To find out more about PAL, here's TSC News reporter Derek Brooks with today's top story. Thank you, Derek, for all that great information. It's just another service that our law enforcement officers provide for the students in Lakeland. I think we should all sign this giant card I made them to say thanks. I have a better idea. Let's hear the sharks thank them in their own words in today's Hot Topic segment with Kayla. I think there's another person we should be thanking. Who's that? Our school's resource officer, Deputy Braswell. He does so much for us each and every day. He's always there when we need him. And today, we need him to give us information on how to stay safe on campus. Let's head over to Charles with his special guest, Deputy B, in today's Healthy Healthings. Hey Erin, guess what time it is? I don't know. I've been having so much fun that I lost track of the time. It's time to swing on over to Isabel to find out our school's announcements in today's Shark Scoop. Here, Here we go! go! Thanks for watching our show today. Be sure if you see any police officers around to say thanks for all you do. Don't forget to watch next week's fantastic shows. I'm Erin. And I'm Erica. Thanks, thanks for, for watching TSC News. News.